Hi there, my name is Stephen Northcott and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the SANS Institute. SANS has been around for 17 years. Most of that is a very small conference company having uh, two venues, one in the spring, one in the fall, one on the east coast of the U.S., one on the west coast of the U.S. In year 2000 we started thinking, wow, it takes a lot of effort to write all this courseware, why are we only running it twice a year? And so we began to experiment with additional venues, and that's been very successful. Uh, in 2001, we began to experiment running outside of the United States. Uh, we went to Australia and we went to London that year, and that was a lot of fun. We were well received, and so SANS has been seeking to be an international company since then. As the whole organization has been maturing, so has the market, the IT security market. Uh, certifications have become a pretty big deal. Uh, so in 2001 we began offering certifications for intrusion detection and our flagship product was Security Essentials, the GSEC certification. But certifications are also growing up. ISO has a standard for certifications. In other words, a certification for certifications. And this required us to separate the certifications under GEAC from SANS. So at this point they're two separate corporations, each with their own board of directors, um, each one quite independent of the other. At this point there are 18 certifications. To get a certification most people take a week of training, it's actually six days. Sometimes we don't have enough time to teach everything in six days. Then people come at night as well. This is what we refer to as boot camp classes. After a week of training, people typically go back and study. We ask people to read their books at least twice um, and then take the exams. You'll note I said exams. Uh, there are two. The first one comprises the first three days of training, the second the last three days of training. We generally suggest to people not to take both exams at the same time. Study your first three books, take the first exam, study your second three books, take that exam. Once people are certified, it's only for four years and they have to recertify. This is because in our industry things keep changing. As the whole industry matured, we found a need to create a college for a Master of Science in Information Security. This is because of a demand in industry for people who have what we call a master's degree. It's actually not correct, it's a Master of Science. So we decided to focus on producing leaders. The program began in October of 2005 and is moving along. In the United States, institutions of higher education have to become accredited. So we're in the process, once again, of producing tons and tons of paperwork and being audited and receiving our accreditation to operate as an institution of higher learning. SANS is not just education. We have a large focus on research. You may be familiar with the Internet Storm Center, isc.sans.org. This is a global effort. Handlers help us from all over the world to find the latest malware and viruses. It's the largest distributed intrusion detection system on planet Earth with over 6,000 feeds from IP addresses showing what they are seeing as they're connected to the Internet. Uh, the Internet Storm Center has been the first to detect many attacks and works with all of the other response organizations on the planet. The certs, the first teams, the antivirus companies, and the like. We have other resources that are a result of our research. One of the most popular is called the SANS Top 20. The SANS Top 20 is based on the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule. The idea is that over 80% of all successful computer intrusion attacks are the result of a small number of flaws or vulnerabilities, generally 20%. This ratio appears in life in many, many cases. The top 20 has gone through many evolutions in its six years of existence. It actually started out as the SANS Top 10 or SANS slash FBI Top 10. 
but when it was called the top 10, it was really 123 different things. These days, we don't make any attempt to say the top 20 is 20 different things. We say it's 20 categories comprising, again, the vulnerabilities or errors, common errors, that lead to system compromise. This year, the 2006 one, we updated every quarter. This year, the 2006 one shows Microsoft to be the overwhelming uh, majority of attacks. There are five different categories, specific categories for Microsoft. And then when you get into the applications, Microsoft turns up then. This doesn't mean Microsoft is bad or anything like that. If you think about it, complexity is its own reward. And what we've learned is the Microsoft operating system is very large, very complex. And so there's with so much real estate in terms of software engineering, there are a lot of opportunities for vulnerabilities to exist. What we ask people to do is take a look at the top 20 and then evaluate their own organization. This can help them prioritize cleaning up the things that are most likely to cause system compromise. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. The important thing I'd like to leave you with is we're a community, not just SANS, but as a worldwide community of information defenders in the same way that the attackers have formed a community sharing one to another, especially as organized crime is entering the picture. So we would ask you to get involved in your community. If you can go to the Internet Storm Center, maybe you can become a feed sharing what your IP address is seeing on the Internet so that we can all work together to make the Internet a safer place. Thank you very much.